Okay, uh, we're here in uh, Iowa City, Iowa. My name's Alan Chase, I'm with Chase Enterprises. Oftentimes, uh, people ask us what it is that we do, and this is along the side of Interstate 380, uh, right at the intersection of Route 80, which is a main thoroughfare across the country. This right-of-way is being taken over by this product called Bull Thistle. You can see these plants that are all growing up real high. All around me here, I'll kind of show you one of these. We're applying a herbicide to these plants that will stay uh, active in the ground through spring. This is uh, early October here right now. And these plants right here are starting to go dormant. That's the bull thistle plant, and it has pretty much taken over all of this road shoulder up as far as you can see in both directions. It's difficult to manage. It chokes out all the other vegetation pretty unsightly, uh, stops drainage, impedes wildlife, all kinds of things that are not real desirable. So we're working this entire right away. We've got, uh, uh, we're under contract with the Iowa Department of Transportation to treat about 5,000 miles of right away. And uh, some of the vehicles that we're uh, using on that, uh, you can't really see them over there, but believe it or not, there's a Humvee right there. <laughs> that gives you some idea how tall this stuff is. And that Humvee is backing up and down this hill and applying a herbicide uh, to all of this bull thistle right here on the shoulder of the highway. <coughs> so, uh, not sure what else I can say about that, but this is, uh, this runs along, this is kind of a uh, denser area, obviously. This was originally, when this road was constructed, this uh, product here, which is a low ground cover, that doesn't grow very tall, uh, Crown Vetch is planted here to try to make this just a nice ground covered slope, uh, but for whatever reason uh, the bull thistle has kind of moved in and as you can see, depending on where you look, it, it pretty much has dominated it and eventually it'll choke out this, it'll choke out this green ground cover and all you'll have is all this bull thistle and then all the flowers that are on the top of these plants all of these flowers right here will produce seeds and blow in the wind and before you know it the whole area will be covered in in this stuff so uh, that's why we're out here uh, that's why we're out here doing this and uh, I'll try to kind of I thought maybe I'd be able to show you a little bit of uh, our vehicles working but this stuff is so tall that you really can't even see them These are retired military Humvees, uh, U.S. Marine Corps uh, M1123s are the models of them. They've got 300 gallon water tanks on them uh, with spray nozzles and so on that we found this to be the optimum vehicle for this kind of uh, application. We uh, operate a small fleet of these as well as a lot of other similar types of vehicles. We tend to back these machines up these hills because we don't really know when we're going to find a hole. Uh, we actually found a road culvert on the side of one of these hills a few days ago and we flipped one of these machines over on its side. So that obviously is uh, something we want to be real careful about. So we found the best way of doing this is just to back up these hills. It saves us an awful lot of time uh, over uh, other techniques of dragon hose and things of that nature to try to get this hillside treated. So so that's what we do here at Chase Enterprises. We're always looking for help. If you're interested in driving a uh, retired military Humvee, maybe you're a retired military person and just can't wait to get back in the seat of one of these things. Uh, give us a call.